Good evening. I'm able to get tonight's daily devotional a little early. Um, I've been taking that test, and I didn't pass it. And um, they're not giving me an option to take it again. Uh, it was a lot of computer lingo that I just don't understand. I mean, it's... <laughs> I'll read one of them for you. It's uh, And it's like... I think it was like 150 questions, a little over 150 questions. And they let you look up the answers, but they only give you 30 minutes to do it. And like most of what they were saying, I didn't understand. Like, um, which part of the result block should you evaluate to determine the needs met rating for that result? True or false? You always need to evaluate both the block and the landing page. True or false? For a special content result block, you only need to evaluate... The content inside the block and nothing else. For a special content result block, evaluate the content inside the block. You may also need to evaluate the landing page as well in some cases. That's just, that's just, that was just one question. True or false for, you know, which part of the result block should you value to determine the needs? Bet rating for that result. I, I, you know, it's, I don't, it's, this stuff's, I tried though. You know, I tried, but I think they need to give you longer than 30 minutes to take it, you know, but, um, there's a babysitting job that I might be able to get, and, um, I did get two brand ambassador demos, so, um, I have one on the 19th and another one, um, the following Friday, or Saturday, the 19th, next Friday, I have one next Friday, and then Saturday after that, so, and we're going home soon. So I'm not going to worry about it. But, you know, we got bad weather and I've been testing and my daughter took me out to eat for Mother's Day. So I'm just going to take a break tonight from Uber. I'm start again tomorrow, but everything will work out. I'm not worried. At least I can say I tried, you know. Tonight I'm going to read from Jeremiah 7, verse 5 through 7. <coughs> Excuse me. For if ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings. It's my bed, I'm sorry. If you thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if you oppress not the stranger, <coughs> excuse me, the fatherless and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in this place, neither walk after other gods to your hurt, then will I cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. In going astray and committing wickedness before the Lord, Jeremiah says, after, um, Jeremiah says, walking after other gods to their own hurt, false religions, false philosoph fake philosophies, and erroneous ideas about God all tend to hurt the one holding to them. Not only do they offend God and bring judgment, but they wreak, wreak havoc, havoc, I cannot talk to that, I'm sorry, <clears throat> it just, the words are blending together because it took forever to take that test. Because it was uh, three parts. They wreak havoc in the lives of those following such false beliefs. O oh, fountain of living waters, you are the source of all our true joy and the only legitimate object of worship. We can, how can we leave you? For where would we go? Who else has the words of eternal life? Your word gives life to your spirit. I don't like the way they said object. I don't like that. I don't know. It could have been put in a better way. I'm just reading what it says here. These are the uh, daily, um, the Bible verses that come on your phone, you know. So, um, who else has the words of eternal life? Your word gives life to your spirit. And all the idols of the nations... Do nothing but ensnare men in the carefully planted traps of Satan. Help us amend our ways and learn to both know you and love you more. Amen. And this is uh, Jeremiah 7, verse 5 through 7. For if you thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if ye thoroughly, <coughs> thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if you oppress not the stranger, the fatherless and the widow, and shed not innocent blood in 
this place. Neither walk after other gods in your hurt. Then will I cause you to dwell in this place in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. So. We know, guys, that the rapture is going to happen soon. We don't know when. But we hold on to the Lord's hand. We do not let the Lord's hand go. He guides us. Teaches us. He loves us. He's our Heavenly Father. Our Savior, Yeshua, is about to return and bring us home. That's why I'm not worried about this test thing. And, you know, it's um, more and more people are, have not been tipping. I did have, I had some tips come in today, so, because I was doing Uber earlier. But, you know, it could be worse. I could have, like, absolutely no income coming in. So, you know, that's why I deleted that post I made, because I shouldn't complain, because I know there's people in worse positions than me. But, um, anyway... Hold on to the Lord's hand. Whatever you're going through, don't don't let his hand go because we're so close to going home. I love you guys. God bless you. Happy Mother's Day. Hope you had a wonderful, awesome Mother's Day. And um, I pray for all of you every day. I pray for your finances, your, your children, your grandchildren, your pets, your, your health. Yeah, I, every day. God bless you. And I will talk to you soon.